Are you currently searching a new job or you don't know what to do? Then I have one great advice for you. Look at procurement. For me, procurement is the area which has the most interesting jobs for everyone of you. And in this video, I'm going to explain you why. Because definitely procurement is the place to be. When I was asked why procurement is such an interesting area to work in, I thought about it and I found 12 reasons why it is like this. And those 12 reasons I want to present you now in this video. So reason number one, strategic importance. I think there's no other department in the company which is so strategically important as procurement. Why? If the goods are not coming at the right time, the production cannot work. If the products are too expensive, the company will not earn any money. And all this is in the responsibility of procurement. Also, if you see procurement, there are 1000 different suppliers. Every supplier is delivering something else. So there's a huge variance of different articles you can look at. So you see how strategically important it is to be the procurement manager, to bring the right goods and to make sure that you also get innovation from suppliers. Because a procurement manager should not only make sure that the goods are there at the right time for the right price, no, he should also have supplier relationship management, meaning that he learns a lot from the market, that he gets a lot of new ideas and bringing this innovation into the company, so helping the engineering department, for example, to get the right ideas and to get immediately a sparing partner for producing new goods. So for me, strategically, Procurement is definitely the number one in a company. Second, diverse skill set. Whatever you have learned, you are nearly needed in procurement because there are so many different goods, so many different suppliers, so many different article groups that diverse skills are needed. Also in procurement, you have analytical tasks, you have strategic tasks, you have tasks where you need to speak different languages, you need engineers in procurement. So there's a lot of different knowledge that is needed in procurement. So whatever skill set you have, I'm pretty sure that the procurement department will need you. My third reason are global opportunities. Procurement is not a local practice, meaning that you are buying from some suppliers which are close to the factories. No, procurement is getting more and more global. So there are suppliers in other areas of the world speaking different languages. And also those suppliers need to be visited for factory audits, for making relationship management and so on. So that means as a procurement manager, you have great opportunities to visit the world, to get to know other countries, to be culturally open, but no other department has like this, that you can go and see so many suppliers and really discover the world. Reason number four, technology and innovation. Procurement is probably the area in the company which has the most impact when it comes to technology and innovation. Because procurement lives with a lot of data, a lot of suppliers, a lot of different article groups, a lot of relations with people from all over the world. And this can be so much facilitated with technology. There is AI coming, there is blockchain. With the introduction of AI and blockchain, procurement will be getting so much easier. So procurement is not only this buying function anymore where you're negotiating with the supplier. No, procurement is really a technological area where guys like you, if you are interested in technology, are very much needed. Reason number five, career growth and advancement. So if you start in procurement, doesn't matter where you start as a simple operational purchaser, as a strategic purchaser, or even as some in some higher position, there is a great opportunity for growth in the company. Because first of all, procurement departments have several sections where you can grow in, but even having been a procurement manager, you can also go in the top management. A few years ago, this was more or less impossible, but in the last years, the importance of procurement in companies have risen a lot. Did you know, for example, that Tim Cook, the CEO of Apple, he used to be a procurement manager before. So it is possible with a career in procurement to become even the CEO of a multinational company. Reason number six, impact on sustainability. 
I think procurement is the department which has the most impact on sustainability. Why? Because they are choosing the suppliers. And most important when it comes to ESG laws is the supply chain. So what kind of suppliers you have? Where are they from? How do they produce? How ethically do they produce? How much shipping is there? So if you follow the ESG laws and implement this in procurement, you definitely make sure that your company comes on a very sustainable path. Reason number seven, financial rewards. I must say a procurement manager, if he's good in negotiation, if he's selling himself well in the company, can definitely earn good money. Because normally a procurement manager has a base salary and on the other hand, he has bonus payments which are related to cost reductions, to innovation, to certain KPIs that he brings. So if you are negotiating a good package, and this is, you can see in some of my other videos, how to do this, because if you bring value to your company, then you definitely can get a very good package in procurement. And if it is success related and you bring this success, you will definitely be happy and much happier than in many other departments of your company. Reason number eight, problem solving and challenge. What I can definitely tell you in procurement, it will never be boring. Some of your friends might say, wow, you're in procurement. This must be very boring. No, it is definitely not boring in procurement because every day you have new challenges on your table which you need to solve. So if you are good in solving problems or challenges, procurement is your place because there are so many different aspects, so many different articles, suppliers and so on. So every day there is happening something and it will definitely not get boring for you. Reason number nine is networking and relationship building. I told you already many times about these more than 1000 suppliers a company has. Behind every supplier is a person or two or three persons. You are talking with these persons. So you get to know a lot of people. When you do an RFQ, you do not only talk with your existing suppliers, but with a lot of alternative suppliers. So that means you are constantly in contact with new people, with people from different countries, from different cultures. If you are a good procurement manager, you also understand internal stakeholder management. So meaning that the colleagues in your company from engineering, from finance, from logistics and so on, that they are also becoming your friends. So although with those people you need to talk, you need to make relationship management. So it is definitely a place where you get to know a lot of new people, where you make a lot of new experience and which, as I already said before, is not boring at all. Reason number 10, flexibility and work-life balance. Of course, it depends on the company you are working for, but definitely procurement jobs could be pretty flexible. Of course, you need to see in which time zone your suppliers are, but some of your suppliers are more in the time zone where you need to talk with them in the evening, with others in the morning. Definitely procurement jobs can be done partly from home. So it is, from my experience, a pretty flexible job where you can work from ever you want in the world. And if your company allows this, you can have a great work-life balance out of a procurement job. Reason number 11, that's the contribution to the company strategy. Every company has a strategy, for sure also your company or the company you are going to work for. And this strategy depends to a certain extent what you are going to do in procurement. So for example, if the strategy is to be more sustainable, if procurement is not implementing this with its supplier, the company will definitely not get more sustainable. If the strategy of the company, because unfortunately they have problems, is to reduce, let's say, 10% of the costs, then procurement is the main driver for this because at least 50% of the turnover depend on procurement. So then procurement must be the main delivery point. And there are more and more examples how procurement can and must contribute for the total strategy of the company. Coming to my last point, and this is job security. If you want to have a job where you're not getting fired, where you're pretty secure, I think procurement is the number one. I only know companies which are searching additional purchasers, additional procurement managers, and I don't know very few companies which are firing procurement managers. Of course, if you want to be working in operational procurement, very transactional, there is a risk that you could be replaced by AI. But if you are following my advices, if you are studying the key trends for procurement in the future, then definitely 
you will have a job which is very secure, where you will never get fired and where you will be promoted regularly. Because simply procurement needs well-skilled people and well-skilled people in procurement are very rare. And if you are one of them, you have one of the securest jobs you can ever imagine. So these were 12 reasons why for me procurement is definitely the greatest job you can have in any company. So if you are or want to become a procurement manager, you should first of all subscribe my channel, switch on the notification bell, because on this channel you have a lot of information, basically everything a procurement manager needs and everything what you need to learn if you want to make a successful career in procurement. So have a look at all my videos, especially also the podcasts where I'm talking with successful procurement managers from all over the world. So that it is. I hope this video was useful for you and then I will see you in my next video.